a horrifying late night drive, a creepy gas station attendant, and a maniac working at the motel. What do you get when you combine all them shits? Fears to fathom, Norwood Hitchhike. That's the bullshit that we're playing today! So sit back, relax, and enjoy the ride! Let's hit this shit! Yes! Motherfucker! Yeah! Okay, y'all. Here we go. Here we go. This happened to me when I was 19. I'm a little over 21 now. I still remember this very clearly because of how creeped out I felt. I was a bit hesitant to write this out for the internet at first, but getting it out may help, even if just a little bit. I was one of those people that loves to go to gaming conventions. I go to every convention I get a chance to, and sometimes even meet some of my online friends. Though my parents weren't always thrilled at the idea of me going on interstate drives, but plane tickets would have been too expensive. This convention I was at went great, and it was now the day to drive back home. But when I set off, I soon realized that traffic was horrible. I decided that I'd take the long way around to avoid traffic. It was a little over a 12 hour long drive. Bum, bum, bum! Okay, so we just finished up at a gaming convention. We are now driving home. And presumably something catastrophic is fixing to occur. Now, I did play the first Fears to Fathom uh, a couple of months ago. Uh, and this is obviously the second episode of that. Now, wait a minute. There's no way I can text and read that shit, bitch. I need to stop. Hold up a minute. Hold up a minute. Do not text and drive, assholes. Um, stuck in the biggest traffic jam in the country. That sucks. It was not good here either. I think it's people from the convention. That's why I'm rerouting here. You gotta do what you gotta do. Okay? And there's also another... Oh, okay, so you can read this one, too. Drive safe, Holly. Don't forget to call me. You got it, Dad. Aiden Williams, anything else? Leaving now. Drive safe. Okay, right. So let's... Go ahead and keep on moving. See, if I would have been reading my text messages and driving, I would have head on crashed into that bitch. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Near halfway through the drive, I realized I was low on gas. Bo. Bo, we in the middle of bumfuck. Oh, this can't be good. Are you dumb as hell? What the hell am I doing out here in the middle of nowhere with no goddamn gas? Are they... Out of their fucking mind with this shit. Oh my god, and dad got a mean text me while I'm driving, Gabe, trying to make my ass crash. Damn! Oh, okay. I know y'all just saw schemes off in the bushes. I know. Oh, it's a damn gas station. Say less! Oh shit! We made it to the gas station. Pops is texting me. We ain't worried about none of that because I'm just about to fill up and get on my way. Now, I do need to watch out because there's at least one creepy son of a bitch roaming around out in the bushes. Okay, we saw him for certain. And this appears to be a gas station populated exclusively by Roblox characters. Listen, I need 25 on three, bro. Uh, hi, can you put 10 on pump two? Listen, I was kind of close. You heading to the bridge by yourself? Huh? The Norwood Valley Road, I mean. Not a lot of people head down there this time of year. Triple dot. Be careful. Uh, you got it. Thanks. What do you mean? For about a century now, people have been going missing down there, and people who went looking for them never returned. Locals say the Norwood Valley monster had torn them up and hung them upside down from trees. Interesting. Thanks for the gas, big homie. Uh... Appreciate you looking out. Not really. Why he look like that? Why he look like what he built like a goddamn thumb? Bo, he built like a thumb. Look. Compare. I'm just saying. Non-toxic, but I'm just saying. So we just got a whole conversation going on here. Oh, no. They've got a signal strength meter to the top. You know that means one thing and one thing only. That bitch about to be at zero. They don't just give you meters like that for no reason. Let me talk to this guy. Um, you heard about the Norwood Valley Monster. How's your night going? Where are you headed? He just looked at me. I probably just look at somebody too. You asking me all them questions and shit. Okay, wait a minute. You heard about the monster? Huh? The Norwood Valley Monster. You know anything about it? Big mistake. What? What? Wait, what? Wait, what? what? So this guy, this guy's clearly not a talker. And the only thing he wanted to say was big mistake. I'm fixing to get rolled. GG. And one more thing from Bit Like a Thumb behind the counter. What can I do for you? 
If you see a woman in a white or blue gown trying to get a ride, do not stop. Just step on the gas as hard as you can. Why? Some people say that she died in a car accident there on prom night. Some say she seeks re uh, revenge after she was murdered there. Regardless, she's out for blood. Whatever you do, never ever under any circumstances pick up a hitchhiker. Those people out there on the road putting their thumbs out, they ain't what you think, ma'am. They just ain't. Okay. Now, see, that could go both ways. Because on the one hand, built like a thumb, bitch, bitch, right here, could have kidnapped that bitch. She might have escaped. And now she needs to be saved. Or, she, or he's actually right, and there actually is some kind of demonic spirit haunting the woods. Either way, I'll take my chances. Thank you, thumb monster for your opinion. Now here we got a bitch going out to his van and somehow or another he was able to get in, close the door, and drive away at the exact same time. That bitch kind of cheap. I don't know if you'll find any shop at this hour, but we're out of dog food. Could you get something for Milo? I'll pay you back. Right, okay. So let's go ahead and fill up. How do I fill up? Am I filled up? No, sure not. I gotta fill up this bitch yet. All right, let's fill this bitch up now. So they really would let you drive away without getting gas. I filled my tank and was off to the road again. Now, since my mom asked, I had to buy something for Milo from the snow. What? Okay, so I gotta go back in and buy some dog food. So let me come in here real quick, hold up. So we got the dog food. Let's just go ahead and put this uh, into the vehicle. Let me just check and make sure nobody's punctured my tires or any bullshit. Here we go. Let's load up and hit the road. So under no circumstances, according to uh, the Thumb Warrior, am I supposed to be stopping for any hitchhikers? Uh, but I'm just not really sure what to make of that. Buddy was kind of odd. Being on the road, you do realize a thing. Monsters truly do exist. What? And every single one of them looks just like you and me. Okay, well, I'm not going to be reading the text messages while I'm driving, ma. That's how you crash. That's how you get bamboozled. That's how you get killed. What's this now? It's that damn van. Oh, 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 is it the van? Wait, what is that? Oh, no, that's not a van. That's just a... That's just another vehicle out here on the road. All right, let me give this guy his distance, okay? Some people get mad when you follow too closely. We out here on a desolate road. I don't need to be making no bitches mad. Okay, my headlights have gone out, but that's not really a worry because I'm following this guy. And his headlights be working. Oh, he flooring it. Hold up. Oh my god, I gave that bitch some distance and he floored it right when my lights ran out. That's kind of toxic. Okay, eyes open, y'all, in case we gotta swerve, but we're not gonna be swerving too hard if it's good. What the hell? Wait, wait, that was that. That was that damn car! That was in front of me. You little bitch ass rabbit, you think I will run your ass over? I saw two big logs in the middle of the road. I could not drive past the logs because they wouldn't budge. What the hell, yo? But who the fuck? It almost... I didn't think of it much at the time. Wait, what did she say? Bro, th this shit to the bottom goes by a little too quickly. Two hours later. Oh. No fucking way! <laughs> Are they serious? Wait. I'm moving these? Bo, how? These would these would be absolutely impossible to move. My fucking car is smoking. My fucking car is smoking! I did all of that shit, and now I can't even start the car. Oh, this is so cringe. And I'm teleported. And I'm teleported back up to the logs. Okay, you know what? That's actually probably... Maybe not the worst thing in the world. And just like that, I was stranded in the middle of nowhere with no phone service. Confirmed. I knew it! I knew that shit was gonna be the case. Y'all will never catch me slipping. So am I supposed to wait at my car or keep walking? 1023 PM. So why in the hell did my car just break down? Why 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 did the oil change just decide? You know what? Actually, Dami, you can get rolled. 
I saw a car nearing. From where exactly? From where exactly? Oh, 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 oh. You know it's Truck Boy. Pure evil. I didn't understand how somebody could leave another human being stranded like that. Am I wearing the white gown and bullshit that that bitch was on about? So that guy just sped right by me. Gave not two shits. Not even one shit. Okay, another 20 minutes passed. I guess I should probably come back here and wait by my car, maybe. So that way people don't think I'm just like some random hobo out here in the middle of nowhere that I've actually been stranded. Okay, watch the fuck out now! Who'd this be? Oh, look who it is! You're the girl from the gas station! That's me, correct. Uh, hi, thank you so much for stopping. I didn't think anyone would stop for me here. What are you trying to do out here? My car just broke down. Uh, I can't call for help, there's no phone service. You think you can give me a ride? Where are you heading to? Just up the road, just to the nearest stop where I can call for help. Hop in, thanks so much. Could you wait till I get my stuff? Hurry up, just throw it in the back. I won't be here for too long. Okay, sure, sure, no worries. I bought some damn dog food! And I got my back at the pack. Now, if this guy was smart, he would just do a burnout on me, putting all this shit in the back of his truck, and he would just rob my ass. That would be the smart thing to do, but I don't necessarily know that this fella is what we would classify as smart. Is there a reason I can't uh, get in the vehicle now? Uh, you need to hurry up. I don't have all day. I'm done. Finally, now hop in and be quick. See, this guy seems a little, uh, seems a little moody. Which is maybe actually a good thing, because if this guy was trying to kidnap me, I feel like he'd be friendly. You know, he'd be nice. Okay, so here we go. We're just cruising along. Mighty slowly, I might add, but whatever. So you won't tell me who you are or where you're going? Uh, I'd rather not say if it's okay. I live really close from here. I was driving home. Is that so? In that case, I wouldn't imagine you asking those questions at the gas station. Oh, so this guy think he high IQ? Oh, this guy think he high IQ? It's okay. I wouldn't trust me either. Jason. What? My name's Jason. Nice to meet you, Jason. Didn't tell him my name. Damn! So he really remembered the bullshit I was asking him back at the stout. You're really lucky I had to be on this side of town tonight. I must say, you are one brave young woman. How's that? What is that supposed to mean? You got any clue what happened to your car back there? I think it was the battery. It's an old car. I don't know. That's it? I think so. Did this bitch fuck my car up? Does he not understand? The 1982 Geo Metro costs a boatload to fix. So what do you think about what he told you back at the gas station? This guy... Suddenly a talker. Suddenly a talker. He really creeped me out. He's funny. I didn't listen to a single word. I'm gonna go with the he's funny. Interesting. Idiot tells that to every person traveling down here. You wanna chat? So is it true? What? The monster? Let's see. I've never seen the monster for myself, but there are, there are some things, and I'm afraid your car breaking down could have been one of them. Hey, listen, I don't want to sound just like that moron, but just remember this. You don't bother them, and you won't be bothered. Uh, not sure who them is, but I'll just keep my mouth shut. You know, I'm sorry for being a jerk to you before. I'm not the best with people. No worries, Bo. No worries, Bo. Appreciate the apology. Take care of yourself now. So it faded to black. I'm assuming it wasn't the result of me being choked out. At least I'm hoping so. After a little bit of small talk, he dropped me by a motel. Apparently, they offered roadside assistance. Besides, I thought I could use a little rest. Be careful. There are all kinds of people out there, he said ominously before leaving. What's that mean? Damn. Oh, he really did a certified peel out. Now, wait a minute. Where's all my damn luggage at, bitch? I loaded all that motherfucking shit up. And he just peeled out with it. Oh, here's my bullshit right here. <laughs> I was just talking shit for no reason. Is that built like a thumb? Wait a minute. The man was putting out the creepiest vibes imaginable. 
Gal need a room to shack up for the night? Um, yes, I'm going to be here for a few hours. How much is it for a room? What if I just leave? Is that like an option? I don't, there's probably nothing else you can do though, right? Oh, 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 I'm getting service now, I'm getting service. Um, where did you reach? Why are you not picking up my call? Do, what do you mean reroute? Dad, I may have to stay at a hotel for the night. Holly? Wait, what? Hey, where are you at? Your dad's calling me. So wait, how'd I get that message and mine didn't go through? They cracked out with that shit. Looks like this is my only option, you creepy son of a bitch. Yeah, how much is it? $40 for a single. Pay cash only. Pay. Okay. Well, I guess that settled it. Room number nine, right over there. Talk about the car. $90. Tommy will take care of it next thing in the morning. Pay. Oh, shit. Wait, I paid this guy? Good. I'll let Tommy know. And one last thing. Try not to wake the other guests. They might not take very nicely to it. Triple dot. Leave. Okay, creepo. Where my room be at? Oh, shit. It's like way... Eight. Nine. Of course, there's a creepy little fucking vehicle in front of my shit. Bo. Is this guy trolling? Except there was a smell. Uh, a musky old smell. And there's no fucking mattress. Is this guy out of his fucking mind? Oh, God! Wait. Uh. Bo, the door's closed. I panicked! I fucking panicked! Are you kidding me? Okay, so I opened the door. There was a bitch in there. I'm not sure who it is because I can't see it because the door is closed, but this bitch is now talking to me. What are you doing here? I should be asking you, Triple Dot. I'm Tommy, room service, here at the Roadway Inn, the finest stopover in Norwood. What are you doing in there? You know, cleaning stuff? Guy at the front desk gave me this room. Hehehehe. <laughs> I'm gonna have to ask you to step outside while I make the room. I'll just get my stuff. Leave. Okay, can I, can I get a look at this guy? Can I, oh, bitch. Open this. He do look like the kind of motherfucker to say, <laughs> Alright, let me just get my bullshit. What did I say? I need, I really need the energy or some shit? I'm gonna buy a Coke real quick. Holy shit, bitch. They doing this in real time. Consume. Wait, so I drank that pop, and I'm supposed to be faster, apparently. Tommy, Bo, get a fucking, oh. Hey, look at you. What just happened? Not show. Uh, I had a word with Joe about this situation. What is wrong with these people? Mercy, mercy, mercy. But don't you worry, it's safe here. Go, I go get your car. And also, the room's phone is not working. If you need anything, just ask at the front desk. We've been trying to get it fixed, but we haven't been seeing enough guests lately. Hee <laughs> hee Why he laugh like that, Bo? Why I feel like that laugh is exactly how he'd laugh. But you have a good night. Uh-huh. Okay, I think we're good to go. Let's, uh, go ahead and sleep. What's going on now? Oh. Call it foresight, but there was something off about this place. Oh, you fucking think! I couldn't help shake the feeling that something wasn't right. What about Creepo McGee looking in at me? The feeling that tiredness will come over me. A hot cup of coffee would help, I thought to myself. I just heard somebody out here, though. I just heard somebody open a door. Who was that? Who was that? Hey, listen, there's some weird old bitch looking through my window and shit. You have a great night's sleep. Bo, he don't give a fuck. Where you get coffee at? Uh, and it's, all of this shit's free. Why is it free? Seems a little bizarre. 
Probably because I'm about to get fucking bamboozled. I just got poisoned. Hold up. What'd that be? Hold up, what'd that be? Oh, I'm tripping. I got fucking drugged. I got fucking drugged from the damn espresso machine. Oh, I got roofied, bro. I could try and text my old man, but there ain't no signal. There ain't no signal. So the only thing I can do is get back to my damn room and pass out. Hopefully. Close that door behind you, Tommy. You're bulletproof, bro. Okay, 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 okay. Let me do a bathroom check. Make sure ain't nobody made their way in this bitch. Go to bed. Oh, shit! And they poisoned my bitch ass! And they inverted my controls. That shit's tougher than hell. So I really got poisoned. At the damn motel. By Timmy Tommy and his fucked up cousin, Joe. Shit! I don't know. I don't know these bitches' names. I was sedated. Did I lock the door at least? Did they get my... I thought the phone didn't work. I thought the phone didn't work. The fuck is that? Okay, this is some certified hell no type shit. They better not have my controls inverted, no, ma. Who in there? Who in there? But who in there? That's not where I left my shit, neither. It didn't feel safe going out. Well, it don't feel safe staying in. Watch out. Who's in here? Oh. Look at the closet. Why are you doing that? Was that it? I got killed by the goddamn closet monster! Oh, so that was fears to fathom the Norwood hitchhike. This game cold-blooded! I gotta go! Goodbye!